Hey, hey, watch out, watch out. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> Great to see you. Yeah, glad you made it. <laughs> this can't be Eji. He's a little man already. Unbelievable. I hope you're hungry, Adrian. I'm famished. How are you, Opana? I made that fish curry you love. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> she gets more beautiful every time I see her. Why is that? Strange, isn't it? But a fish curry is still awful. <laughs> you're mysterious on the phone. Why didn't you attend the conference? I will show you, Adrian, sir. Sat down. Stop serving me. How deep do we need to go? 11,000 feet. We searched all over India for this thing. It used to be the deepest copper mine in the world. Remember my brother Gadeep? He's a student now. Namaste, Dr. Helmsley, sir. Adrian. It's just Adrian. Would you all of chai? Ice machine the toad gay? Just don't pour too much, huh? How do you work in this heat? You've come on a good day, my friend. Sometimes it can hit 120 degrees. You have to come and meet Dr. Lokesh, a fellow of quantum physics at the university in Chennai. Namaste. Dr. Helmsley. So, what are we looking at? These the neutrinos acting normally. Minuscule mass, uh, no electrical charge. They pass through ordinary matter almost undisturbed. Your message said the count doubled after the last solar eruptions. That was last week. But this happened two days ago. The biggest sun eruptions in human history. Causing the highest neutrino count we've ever recorded. My God. That's not what worries me, Adrian. For the first time ever, the neutrinos are causing a physical reaction. That's impossible. Ah, that feels very good. Please, follow me. You won't believe this. Bye, Koldo. This water tank goes down another 6,000 feet. It looks like the neutrinos coming from the sun have mutated into a new kind of nuclear particle. They're heating up the Earth's core and suddenly act like microwaves. As promised, no speech, just a thank you. Tonight, with your extraordinary generosity, we have raised $1.7 million. That's right. Have a stiff drink because I'm locking the doors and passing the hat around. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I work for the White House. I don't care who you are, sir. This is a black tie event. Scotty! Hey! Adrian, I thought you were in India. What's going on? I need your jacket. What? I gotta speak to Anna House. I don't want to give. Give me your damn jacket, okay. please. All right. Okay. All right. Here. You have to remember. Yeah. Hey, easy. That's a six hundred dollar jacket. Mr. Anheuser. Mr. Anheuser. I need to talk to you. Do I know you? Sorry, sir. My name is Dr. Adrian Helmsley. I'm a deputy geologist at the Office of Science and Technology Policy. Excuse me, fellas. Absolutely. You know that this is a fundraiser, not a frat party, right? It's extremely important, sir. You know what? It always is. Here's what I want you to do. Make an appointment with my... You know, even better, have your boss bring it up at the quarterly science briefing. Okay? There's a good plan. I just traveled 20 straight hours to get here, sir. I haven't slept in two days. You need to read this, sir. You need to read it now. Let me guess. National geology crisis? <laughs> Excuse me.
Who do you report to? Lee Cavazos. Not anymore. Alan, bring the car around. Now you're gonna wish you took a shower. Sir? You're about to meet the president. What's going on? Get that to the office. I would like to meet privately with my fellow heads of state. Diostash. Mr. Makarenko wishes to have his interpreters present. Mr. President, I can assure you, your English is more than sufficient for what I have to say. Six months ago, I was made aware of a situation so devastating that at first, I refused to believe it. However, through the concerted efforts of our brightest scientists, we have confirmed its validity. The world as we know it will soon come to an end. Has His Highness had an opportunity to study the dossier? You must understand I have a very big family, Mr. Isaacs. One billion dollars is a lot of money. I'm afraid the amount is in euros, Your Highness.